Hi everybody, how y'all doing? And welcome back to my channel. In this video here, I'll be testing my read and write speeds of my SSDs and my M.2 drives. Now, the drives I will be testing are the Team Group M.2 MS30 256 gigabyte, the Team Group GX2 512 gigabyte, the Team Group 8X2 512 gigabyte, the Silicon Power NVMe M.2 256 gigabyte. Now that Dell um, M.2 by Silicon Power supposed to have read speeds up to 1600 and write speeds up to 1200. But I'll be testing that out just to go ahead and see if it is true or not. Also, um, that will be running Windows 11 because I'll be doing the rebuild of that system. And yes, it is time to go ahead and get with the ASUS uh, motherboard because I'm so sick of that motherboard right now. But anyway, I will be testing the um, read and write speed with that silicon power in the VM P34 A60 256 gigabyte hard um, SSD uh, M.2 drive. Sorry, with that M.2 drive. I'll be testing the read and write speeds of that there, as well as my NM Power 128 gigabyte SSD and my Zoic ZOZT 120 gigabyte SSD. I'll be testing those six drives that I have brought personally for my use and to see if the speeds are accurate as the manufacturer stated is and what I recommend regular users who need an SSD for their system to go ahead and give it some decent performance for their systems whether it's old or new it don't matter. Now gamers you know if you're playing your games at 1080p and you're looking for an SSD or you're just building a new system um all depends on what type of games you're trying to play all depends on what type of speeds you're trying to accomplish so on a regular basic game that play the games at 1080p i would recommend these hard um, these uh um m.2 and ssds for your system but if you're looking for more high-end performance then i'm gonna let you professional gamers do the shopping for your system Alrighty, and I'll be putting all the um the um data in a graph so y'all can go ahead and see the performance of these cell uh, m.2s as well as SSDs and I'll go ahead and give you my final conclusion of what I think. Will I recommend you to buy them or you just walk away from them? Alright, let's get this let's get the um charts up and I'll be back with the final thoughts. All right, everybody, how y'all doing? Now, the final thoughts of the speeds for the M.2s and SSDs. Now, keep in mind that all the tests was ran all crystal disk mark um, 7.0. So yes, the speeds are accurate. So when you see the packaging saying it's up to this amount and it reads up to that amount, that means that just an actual start, a starting point for the drives. Now, if you want to know the actual speeds of the drives, you got to use Crystal Disk Mark 7.0, and I'll be putting that link in the description below for y'all to go ahead and do y'all test so y'all can know your actual speeds of your M.2s as well as your SSDs. Alrighty, now the truth, and I, I'm not glad I took time to understand this company and, and to go ahead on and show the company some love by purchasing their product, Silicon Power P34 A6. 34A60 side views and also keep in mind I am reading off my notes so I will be looking up and down from the camera so just keep in mind the silicon power P34A60 is the truth and I'm glad to have it the read speeds of that there is 2303.53 the write speed is 1275.70 great speed great read great write you cannot go wrong with that um on the team group the MS30 SSD M.2 read speeds of that is 468.82 
Right speed is 444.15. It's another great drive by Team Group that I like so much. And I, and, I, and I do buy a lot of Team Group stuff, so, but you can't go wrong with this. So the next one up is the Team Group AX2. Correction, the Team Group GX2. The read speed of that is 276.0 and the write speed is 254.61. Yes, another great SSD I purchased from Team Group is the Team Group GX2, 512 gigabyte. Next up is the Team Group AX2, 512 gigabyte. Read speed is 538.75, write speed. 480.74 great speed now the team group ax2 is in my gaming pc the team group gx2 is my drive that i use for my entertainment pc in the room it does exactly what it says i'm happy with the read speed and the write speed of that performance from the team group gx2 and i'm happy with the read speeds and write speeds of the team group AX2. Now I did purchase two other drives that I'm, I'm using. The Inland Pro is in my entertainment PC in the living room with up to read speed is actual read speeds on the Inland Pro Professional on 120 gigabyte. 224.63 78.5 right now it's a little low but it does what it does and i'm happy with that i wish the real the right speed was a little higher on it but for a basic simple ssd you cannot go wrong with it and last but not least is zoit 120 gigabyte now there was advertising on the zoit speeds are up to 548 to write speed to 496, but the actual speed of that Zoid is 274.12 of the read, and the write is 263.43. Now, all six drives that I'll run through from the SP P34A60 256 gigabyte, the Team Group MS30 256 gigabyte, the Team Group. GX2 512 gigabyte, the Team Group AX2 512 gigabyte, the Inland Pro 120 gigabyte, the Zoit 120 gigabyte. Will I recommend these drives? Yes, I recommend these drives. Now, the Team Group GX2, the Inland Professional 120 gigabyte, as well as the Zoit 120 gigabyte, I use those as basic. Um, use only so if, if you have a computer that's a little sluggish and you know your um your mechanical drive is going back your mechanical hdd disk is going back and you want to switch to an ssd yes this is this is for you those three drives i just called out i just use those for basic use only but for professional gamers photographers editors etc the sp p34 a60 the Team Group GX2, the Team Group AX2. Correction. The Team Group MS30 M.2, the SP P34A60, as well as the Team Group AX2. Those three drives I would recommend using for professional gamers, photography, editing, etc. Whatever you like to do. And those, and if you want more faster speeds, as well as great performance, those three drives I will recommend for you. I will be putting the link in the description below for y'all to go check it out if y'all want to purchase. I'll be putting that link in there as well too. And you cannot go wrong with it. I'm happy with the speed and performance of my drives I'm using. I got I did the speed test instead of me sitting down saying second guessing. Well, it says up to 540, and the right speed is up to 420. So then you got to, well, they said this, so that means my read speeds 
is about 460. MRI speed is about 37. No, I, I actually know the actual speed without second guessing anything. And if you need to know your speed of your mechanical hard drives as well as your SSDs and your M.2s and VMEs, I will go ahead and be putting the crystal disk mark link in the description below so you can go ahead and do that. As well as a video that will help you show you how to do that. And this is the end conclusion of my video of my final thoughts of the hard drives. Yes, I will have y'all use them. If, if it's not good, trust me, I will not recommend anybody using it. So, for these six hard drives I use, you, um, from the SP Silicon Power P34A60 all the way down to the Zoid 120 gigabyte. Yes. Now, a lot of people just need it just to go ahead and browse the internet. You know, the 120s, the um, two, the 120s, the 256. I would recommend those just for that. If you just want to just basic run your applications, um, run just simple basic stuff. But for gaming, it's good to be on the 512 or higher. And that's about that's the end of conclusion of my video. I want to thank y'all for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Also, keep in mind when you read the graphs, I got the read speed to the bottom, and the write speed is up top. When I did the graph and when I finalized it, it flipped it. So if you're looking at the graph carefully, the read speeds are at the bottom. They all color coded, so you cannot go wrong with that. Once again, viewers, thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.